really some sort of circular shape uh, made out of a metal or a wire or something. I found these in uh, Hobbycraft, they were literally like 50p. Uh, only thing I don't like that there's like a middle bit, so I will be taking this off with. Oh, just using some pliers, I'm gonna just snip it, snip them out, so I just have the big bit. Uh, it doesn't really matter how big you make it, it you know, depends how much you actually want. Uh, like I said I bought these in Hobbycraft for 50p, but you can also uh, use um, some some wire, uh, either plain. This one has like a so like a rope effect, shall we say. Uh, and just like a bend it and create a circle or if you want a different shape then you know this is more ideal than actual pre-made ones uh, this one I got in uh, range for like 150 but I don't think I'll be using it so I'll stick to that circle I just thought I'll show you different options that there are uh, the next thing you'll need is obviously some uh, uh, some ribbon I got this set from Ikea it was only like couple pounds I think you get like the bigger one the kind of smaller one and uh, the even thinner one and I also will be adding uh, some uh, black ribbon because I like black and <laughs> and I just I just thought it would be go nice with this and it would add the little bit extra just in case I don't have enough in this pack because you do need a lot uh, for this project despite it doesn't really seeming that much so and a couple other things that you'll need just to kind of ensure that it goes well obviously you'll need some scissors because you need to cut the ribbon and as it is ribbon you probably will need lighter or something along those lines to uh, to burn the edges because otherwise they'll do this kind of thing and you literally lightly burn edge and you know tap it down and that's literally it and it will keep it sealed so it doesn't fall apart and if you're a child you probably need some sort of assistance with this you don't need this necessarily if it's obviously just hanged on somewhere but I would probably prefer this because it just gives it a more professional look I guess and as I add a detail in the middle of it I'm gonna put this star you can put that whatever you want or if you even want to put anything it doesn't really matter I just got this star for from Wilkinson's for a pound I just thought it kind of went well with that with a grey with a grey and white and uh, red and I just thought we'll give it like that extra something uh in for the finished product. So yeah. How long you need actual ribbon so all you need to do is take your circle and just use a little bit that's still attached and literally tie one of the little bows all you do is just tie it like you normally would tie like a shoelace or something make the little hoops like so and it will create like a little a little like a little bow you can adjust it to make it look all fancy and stuff after uh, at this moment you just want to see how much you actually need I feel like I'll need a little bit more than this so I'm just gonna add like a little then extra because in the end you can always cut off if you need so I'm gonna take this length just gonna untie it I'm gonna take this length uh, and chop it down I'm gonna chop down this end too a little bit because it just doesn't look nice uh, chop down and then uh, uh, cut up a bunch of the ribbon literally the same way just matching them up and chopping them down and so I'll do the same after with all the color ribbon too so we have a bunch of all of the ribbons literally just cut down and when I'll have a bunch of them I'll just take my lighter and briefly band edges and just put them down 
they do kind of make them a little bit darker but I don't think it really matters because it will be scrunched up in a bunch anyway so you'll have a bunch of them and make sure you do both ends because obviously you cut both of the ends so yeah Uh, with adding the ribbons on, I just thought I'll show you how it looks halfway through before I show you the finished. Uh, you can literally maybe stop now if you feel like, you know, maybe you're adding some actual, um, like maybe bits of the Christmas tree or some other tinsel action or something. Uh, sadly, I do think I might run out of ribbons, so I might need to add a bit more extra in between here to kind of spread it out or go and try get some more of the same one because i'm more of the kind of person that i like the same one not try to blend in some more and the other end and i think it would look more neater that way so well that's how it looks so far and um, let's continue Uh, circle I did ended up actually adding some extra of this kind of skinnier uh, red ribbon and some more of the black ribbon in between I like the colored and white ribbon because it just I just didn't have enough that's all there was to it and uh, I didn't want to like actually just go to the to Ikea to get the same one just you know because I don't like living next to it or nothing so it would be like a trip to actually go there so I just decided to add some extra in it instead of, you know, trying to, uh, you know, m make make a new one or uh, just add to it. So I just added to it. I now have like a, a tiny bit left here, which is then bit where I'm gonna just uh, take some of the black ribbon, just quickly around the ends because it's freshly cut, like so. I'm just gonna take the black ribbon, I'm gonna take it in half and uh, put it around and make a knot of some kind. It doesn't really matter what kind of knot you make around the thing, like so. And just loose the other ones around and I can tie this this bit around wherever I'm gonna be attaching it to the to the wall. And now 
uh, is the time when I could add the, the star if I felt like it. I'm not too sure I actually kind of like it without, but I might actually add it there. All I can do is gonna cut this open because it already has one there, and the same bit where I added the uh, the hang hanger bit, shall we say? I'm just gonna tie this one up on there so it can be easily hidden away, like so. I just pull down and just move the things about so they're in the way and that's that's literally it that is literally it that's how it looks like that's how it will be hanged it's not traditional it's maybe just because my color pick was a bit different but i think it looks pretty good and it literally cost me like three three pound to make three maybe four pound to make and you know a lot cheaper than trying to actually buy one for like five six or more or maybe ten maybe even fifteen pound so yeah it just makes a little nice little decoration i think it would make like a you know nice gift to give someone too if it you know if you don't want to splurge out too much or you don't have that much money for it so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and if you like see more videos be sure to leave a comment and subscribe i hope i see you next my, my next video bye